true mangrove, we're actually talking about a group of plants that evolved from different common ancestors but developed kind of a similar suite of characteristics. Mangroves in general have root systems that allow them to both stabilize themselves in kind of that soft, uneven um, substrate where you might get a lot of wave action. It also provides above ground root structures allowing them to do gas exchange. So the focus of my research is looking at techniques that improve restoration of coastal wetlands. A big project that we've been working on is what we call living shoreline stabilization where we use plants as well as oysters to decrease erosion on shorelines as well as increase the amount of habitat that's available for our estuarine organisms to use. You can see the root system, which is one of the sort of biggest services that they provide, actually comes from the production of that root system. Unfortunately, for a long time, we sort of didn't value the services that we get from mangrove systems, and many of these areas were drained or diked or uh, filled in, altered in some way, um, and kind of lost the natural abiotic characteristics that create the wetlands. Wetlands are, by nature, a very stressful habitat. They're flooded, they're salty, they're hit with a lot of waves. So conserving the habitat and restoring what's been damaged is really important to kind of get a lot of those areas back on track. We call mangroves ecosystem engineers, meaning the presence of the mangroves on the shoreline actually creates habitat that other organisms can use. So you'll see uh, fish swimming around in between those roots and they use it for hunting as well as hiding from their own predators. It also serves as substrate for lots of sessile organisms like our barnacles and sponges and oysters to settle on. In addition to providing habitat, those roots also act as sort of a uh, wave break. So another ecosystem service that we get from mangroves is shoreline protection. So as wind or boat waves or storm waves are moving onto shore, oftentimes those mangrove roots are kind of the first line of defense to keep that shoreline from becoming damaged. One of my best memories of doing the Living Shoreline Restoration was one of the first times that we had actually taken young students out to the field and had them plant mangroves. We had this little girl, she's like three or four years old. She takes her parents down, shows them how to plant it, and she's like, I just saved the planet. She was just so proud of herself for planting this mangrove, understanding the importance of it and what it was going to provide. I think that in itself makes it all worth it and hopefully influence the way she thinks about oceans as well as just taking care of the environment.